I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place for weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. Gotta go a dedicated woman, Dr. Mm. Dr. Rudd, before me, disliked her intensely. Personally? Personally? Oh, listen to this entry from Dr. Rudd's case book for December 10th, 1932. Called to Windward House, Meredith's model, Carmel Quesada, double pneumonia. That tallies with what Miss Holloway told me. December 12th, Carmel Quesada much worse. No attempt to warm her room. Found traces of snow in her bedroom. Snow? Spoke severely to Nurse Holloway. Absolutely criminal negligence. Isn't that a pretty serious charge, Doctor? When a man of Dr. Rudd's generation used it, it was very apt to mean murder. Miss Holloway murdered Carmel? She was very fond of Mary Meredith. Perhaps that's why Stella's grandfather sent her to Miss Holloway's for safekeeping this afternoon. You mean, you mean Stella's words? What is going on, explorers? All right, guys. I just stumbled across two dwellings. Really, really overgrown. Now, I thought this was just a little shed, but this is one of the little dwellings. The other one is through there. It's very, very, very overgrown from the uh, side of the road. So we're going to start in this little area. And I'm not going to um, venture too close to that fireplace because there is a huge bee's nest up in that corner. And there's a, they're buzzing around at the moment, so... Yeah, the outside of this one, as you'll see when we move out, kind of looks like a little a little schoolhouse, the way it's built. It's got corrugated iron. Yeah, there's an old suitcase there, a couple of old seats, and a clothesline right in the middle of the room. Only 70s or 60s seats. Bit of a table there. Cordial, Bickford's cordial, mango tea cordial. Old tuna tins. Yeah, someone's little little hut there's an exhaust up there might have been a stove somewhere in here well obviously in the fireplace right yeah the, the road is out there and as you saw from the opening shot if I put it in you can't even recognize the house really from the roadside so we will go around through these thistles. Just close this over again. This was latched. There we go. Look at these thistles, guys. Yeah, there's sheds right there, and over the other side, there's a there's an old home. Show you what I mean when I say an old school building. That kind of south up there looks like the old shelter shed that was in our primary school. Probably see it better there. here and 
see what we can see. Go to the old home first. What an odd, what an odd place. A few big trucks going through. Yeah, there's the cottage there. Let's go for a look. There's a whole heap of scrap metal there, bikes included. Old beat mix mixes. Well, looks like this might be the way oh, I just gotta change over my light battery before we go in guys because it's dead Alright, we're right to go I think I accidentally had it on while I was outside This is going to be a bit of a Frankenstein of add-ons and adaptations. Damn, this is cool, guys. This is a time capsule. What's that? An old... Mm, an old grill, little grill, electric grill. We got okay. Well, those light globes could have someone could have been in here in the last 20 years. Look at this. This is the uh, the old laundry. This is all like oh, there's a little rat up there in the corner. This is an old, just looks like an old bush shack at the at the back here. This is cool. Yeah, no, he's gone now. Not that you want to be looking at rats. Look at this old cupboard. Oh, what's this? An old shoe polisher. Check it out. Yeah, there it is. Shoe polisher. 50 cents. Probably got it from the op shop. Oh, that's an old shaving kit underneath there, isn't it? No. No, it's a first aid kit, sorry. Yeah, there you go. see the loo right next door well, I'm thinking it must be the loo let's have a look no it is the bathroom you can push, push the dirt out of the way oh yeah
Look at that. Bath raised up. Oh well, we'll have a date in here for sure, but it's just just looking at that stuff, it's pretty old. Definitely that, McGloin's. Transiderm Nitro. The expira exp expiration date on that is 1992, guys. sure while they were living here they kept this place nice and clean and it would have been a cozy little shack and we'll keep moving up towards the other front end of the home damn look at all these bottles Perfume, bottles or flower. Little soap liquid bottles. Yeah, we'll, we'll go out to the sheds and other parts once we've done the inside of the home. Very low ceiling, very low. Well, the original stove or an older stove would have sat in there. Then they got the Simpson Celebrity. That's a wardrobe on its side, that thing. Oh, cool. Some old stereos or things over there. Might be an old organ or something. Well, what's this thing? Pepper grinder, no? What's that guys? I've seen them before. It's a grinder of some sort. There, there are no holes on the bottom of it though. Well, that again is Someone was living here in the 90s, definitely. As that um, medicine in the cabinet said as well. Look at this old cabinet. Another one. What's inside? Oh, push button ones. Oh. No, nothing. It's how to make a crochet pattern. Cat lovers, good on them. Oh, hang on, we've got some toys down here. Or he man, no. Don't know who that is. That uh, Ken, Ken the bodybuilder. 
I'm not sure. All right, there's a stereo there, a record player or something. A coffee machine or a percolator or something on top of it. That'll be a turntable in there. Yep. Whoops, sit there. Just need to sit that like that. We can have a look at the Sony Sony stereo music system. And again, I will make sure I close everything I've opened, including the bathroom door and that. I will get a still shot of that soon. There's, a, there's the speakers for them. Is that a little coffee machine? It's got some kind of platform there. Hmm, don't know what that was used for. A little mid-century mid modern piece there. Nothing in it. But this thing, guys, I think this is an old organ keyboard. Yes. Well, maybe an old Hammond or something, is it? Electric, so we're not going to get any sound out of it. So there's the brand there. National. Yep. Oh, get these cobwebs off my hands. National. still works probably probably does if it was plugged in it's, it's definitely got dust on it but no no water rot could work still all right let's keep moving into the old original part of the cottage oh geez it doesn't uh... man this place has seen better days in this area Floor's gone. something else there. I'm not sure what that cabinet is. Well, used to be another console record player it's been removed yeah the turntable was there oh there's a make down Ooh. a ASM a LSM or ATSM not sure old bottles old bottles down there hmm all your metal detectors would have a field day in here I think
Oh, there's a, a crate of old books. Reading was definitely the pastime out in these rural areas back in the day. A whole bunch of books. Night Has a Thousand Eyes. Helen Astrup and B.L. Jacot. Lee Brackett, Alpha Centauri or Die. That's it. That seems all right. There's a Space Odyssey one. Yeah, look. That floor seems like it's been rotted well before the 90s, so maybe they just never used this room. I'm not sure. Now this floor is cement. Tin roof. Another concrete slab there. Fireplace has been filled in. Well, they're old soda water bottles from Woolworths. Could have been brought in here after. What have we got in the front here? Yeah, more, more of those old bottles. Looks like they've just been thrown in here. Maybe someone, maybe someone managed to squat in here somehow. Painting. It's too dusty to tell what it is. There's more there. Well, there's a big fireplace. Another nice little kitty ornament. Oh, speaking of which, look at those ones hanging from the ceiling. I'll try and get to uh, underneath. Oops. Old, whatever it is. Hmm. It's a, it's a pattern to make some children's clothes, I think. Full size pullover. Yeah. A little coffee table there. Yeah, it's a mystery how the the floor has been gone. Well, it's, it's so bad in comparison. But I guess the weird thing is the ceiling. Yes, there's water damage up there, but it looks like the termites might have got the floor. Well, there's the front porch. We'll go out there in a sec. Last room. Oh, okay. So things on the wall here, check it out. More cats. Oh man. The little remnant on the wall there with the phone remind us somewhat of recent times but man the f 
floor is so far gone. And you can see up there, they've done a bit of repair work. Patched in a whole bunch of cracks, or tried to. There's one little baby photo there. Toddler. Oh, a little baby and next to a toddler. Now that's cool. Check out that painting. There we go. Lynn Allen Snoobs or Snooze and Baron. Now the phone numbers next to them are six number phone numbers. Now that's definitely before 1996, I do believe. They went to eight numbers after that. Oh, damn, I didn't see that. There's a dolly or something. That's hung, it's upside down. Yeah, look, it's hanging by that. Uh... What's over here? Well, I suppose early 90s is what 30 years ago just over 30 years ago so a lot of a lot of rot and decay can happen there's a little Mexican with his guitar and sombrero on oh, there's a jacket on the back of the door It's small enough to be definitely a lady's jacket. Everything in this room indicates that there was a lady, lady here. I forgot to get a close up of the phone. Old school. The plug, plug might have been on the Architro that's rotted away there. Sorry, the uh, connection. All right. See all that scrub at the front there? That's all you can see from the road. You can see the roof though. What's this old thing? Is that a. Yeah, it's a TV. I thought it might have been a computer screen, but it's a small TV. Old retro fan. the remote to the TV so that's a little 90s model TV too
Well, I guess over the years a lot of people have probably stopped off like me and, and sussed this place out. And there's things all over the place now. Something. A Hanamex something or other. Radio, oh yeah, radio. There's all the stations there. Oh, there's a council bin lid there, and there's another green council garden waste one there. Although it's got tins in it. Oh, check out the little trike. Well, let's go over to those sheds now. Through all these thistles. More of them. Uh, we'll just stomp them down, I guess. is packed oh my goodness cobwebs all right well oh damn there's cobwebs on my head now Look at this place, guys. This is the most packed shed I've been in, I think. Let's see what's let's see what's in here. Guess we'll start over we'll start over this side and work our way, way back to where we came in. Whew. It's quite warm in here too. Well, this part of the video could take as, as long as the home did. <laughs> oh, check that out. That's an old AWA radio. Radiola. Is in there, old magazines, an old urn, a jerry can, nah it just looks like junky there, well there's the beds that might have been inside. Office chairs have been around a while. This shed may have also been used as a bit of a dumping ground. There's a whipper snipper there. A Ben 10 bike, Alien Force. They're all children's bikes. Bed legs. 
an old keg. <clears throat> There's not too much going on in, the, in there. It's containers, it's a floodlight, bike wheel. It's an old uh, little um, burner, one of those little heaters you can stoke up. A little generator or an engine there or something there. Here's an old kerosene. Two kerosene heaters, or oil heaters. Looks like kerosene though. This is, it's gathered all those little, what are they called? The uh, fluffy little flower things that float around. They're all down there. Drawing a blank, they do have a name. Is an old singer, singer sewing machine. It's a kid's toy. Toy, it's a little train tricycle. Now, the old singer received no love being put there. It's starting to rust. Now there's more toys and stuff dumped under there. Yep, yeah, that's the beds we saw from the other side. Chocolates, assorted toffees and chocolates. What's in here? Uh, just old bits and bobs. Oh, there's a drill in there. Small grease tins. And yeah, the interiors of car doors. That's a tape measure. Now this side's packed as well. Yeah, all over there as well. Well, we'll keep walking along this way. There's an old fireplace surround. Gaskets. Ooh. A couple of nice Federation doors there. Salvage from somewhere. At least the door, the hardware is a Federation era. Ironing board. what that is. Oh, there's a couple of old armchairs. Oh, with a compartment in the side, is it? Yes. Look at that. Judging by the colours, that's an old 70s style. It's got a compartment in the side there. More arnets and confectionery tins. Here's another little record player. Just 
sit that there. And sit that one there. So we just get a look. Look at that. Just plays the minis. Oh no, plays 45s as well. 33s. 78s. It does not. Trying to find the solid state stereo. Where's the maker? Oh, Sanyo again. there tools but there's a radio controlled car or two in there definitely still got the controls as well oh, that one there they were huge in the late 80s early 90s radio controlled cars I think they've made a bit of a comeback too there's an old Tonka That's an air compressor, air compressor box. They are ancient. There's not much in them though. Not on this side. Oh, there's a soldering iron. Old school. Would've been the work shed. It's getting really, really warm in here. Now it's a classic 80s boombox. It's a sharp. Whoops. There's a cassette. Neil Campbell. No, Neil Diamond, sorry. Neil Diamond, the essential Neil Diamond. What did I say, Neil Campbell? <laughs> Glenn Campbell, Neil Diamond. I know a tobacco tin when I see one. Yeah, Dr. Pat. 50 gram. It could be late 70s or early 80s, that one. I think I've mentioned it before. My old man smoked that exact tobacco. Ready rubbed cigarette tobacco. But yeah, there's, all, there's, a, there's more uh, confectionery tins down there, so I might have been collecting them, or at least not throwing them away after they ate the chockies. No, not much going on there. Might be an old light switch there. Yeah, not much else. Oh, big old hacksaw. Barbed wire. And that's the very, very old original beds right there. All right, well. Just get a look on top of there, that's old car seats. Deck chairs and a little teddy bear or something. 
All right, well, there's some other outbuildings. I'm gonna grab a few still shots in this place, this shed, and then we'll take a look at the other ones. Well, the sheds up in this far corner at the back of the home is the chicken coop. Extends all the way around in here too. This would have been a beautiful little sanctuary when they were living here, no doubt. Just a little garden shed there. The old original dunny might be there, I reckon. Classic hills hoist. through the thistles. Wow. What have we got in here? You hear the old dunny? Which way is the door open? Maybe this way. I don't know, mate. Well, I didn't see a toilet, actually, so this was the dunny. It does have a septic tank. Yeah. There's the light, so they they just uh, had a light with a power cord, power lead, leading from the house. And it's made of corrugated tin. like that I'll leave it there There's one more shed here it's quite a desolate looking place when it's in the summer dry like this but I think it's been overgrown all year round storage. Oh, there's a bandsaw. Look at that. The old bandsaw. We had one of them at school in the woodwork room. They're metal cabinets. Looks like um, they've been stored here. Kitchenware, more kitchenware, and there's a display cabinet. Uh, 
and this is the back where we started guys yep we had a quick look out that door before wow what a place guys so much to look at in this this old place very very eccentric layout but uh so enjoyable to explore yeah this back section is just real bush bush shacks kind of set up and i can't tell you what that cement slab was for it's almost like a little stage maybe they had a little the, the organ was up there and they had little sing-alongs and it's almost like you know a raised area for a performer or a dj or something but this original part it is so far gone i wish i actually knew when it was intact last and when well we do know the early 90s it's just hard to picture that it's just been left to rot away and all the items in it and the shed the same by the look of it all right guys well I'm gonna end it here and say thanks for watching let me know your thoughts this is definitely one i'm going to remember one of my favorites of recent times so let us know your thoughts and i'm going to get out of here and i'll see you in the next video all right guys cheers bye remember i used to spy at the end of each day